Hey everybody, Billy Slade here. Uh, we're out at UTV Takeover 2022, Coos Bay, the kickoff for all the takeover events. And this is my 2022 Polaris Pro R. So one of the best things that you can do out in the dunes is lighting. And we have the Rigid Adapt Series light bar. And when you see the Adapt, it's actually a GPS driven unit that during slow speeds, it will widen out the, the viewing angle of the light. And at higher speeds, it focuses in and projects the light further, which is super, super awesome and unique. It also has voltage sensing. So if your battery voltage gets too low, it will actually turn the light off for you. Working our way down, we have a TMW cage with the windshield and the intrusion bar option. Uh, powder coated to my choice, Destroyer Gray. Mashed up with some HCR Special Edition Sector 7 mirrors. And then capping off the upper front end, we have the 4Works carbon fiber hood. And as some of you know, the Pro R actually does have a venting system uh, going in right here that actually hits the front of the secondary clutch. So you actually have two ports of cooling coming into the car, which is an awesome feature to have. We took the headlights out of this car and sent them out to a company called EcoTint where they actually pulled the lights apart, painted the inside of it to match the car and put full RGB boards inside. RGB is red, blue, green, so I can change these to pretty much any color in the world that I want, backlighting. Uh, headlights still work as normal. And then we have the prototype HCR suspension, which this has just been a phenomenal upgrade. It has been uh, uh, fun working with HCR, figuring out what works, what doesn't work, what we like, what we don't like, changes, small changes that could be made. And then also getting three inches of ground clearance in the front of a Pro R is huge. Everybody that's seen the car knows on the bottom end of the car, right where the lower fork mounts, um, this is gonna be your most significant differences right here on the factory arm. It's gonna sit three inches lower and you're also getting a high clearance up to the frame and then paired it with some MTS valve uh, shocks and uh, their, their custom dual rate spring kit. So this car is floating through the dunes and I couldn't be happier with it. Um, on the outside, I reached out to Metal Effects Wheels and asked them for a set of one-off wheels and they delivered. This is actually real carbon fiber that they sent out to a company and wrapped the barrels in real carbon fiber. And as we work our way into the car, you'll kind of understand where, you know, wh where that was so important. Um, we're running a set of 34 inch Rogue sand tires. So for all the guys that want a fast tire, run a tiny bit skinnier and a little bit taller. For all the guys that really want to climb the big dunes, you're going to want a little bit wider and a flatter tire. So if you like going fast, this is the tire for you. I'll uh, also dune gear, uh, dune gear lighting, all of the fasteners, these are all aluminum, all anodized. So I don't have any stainless hardware on this entire car. It's all gonna be black powder coated, black anodized or gray anodized. I'm also running all of his down lighting. So rock lighting, accent lighting, things like that. At night, this thing really glows, all the suspension lights up and everything. We did Destroyer Gray, so I named the car Destroy R because it is actually a Pro R and I painted it Mopar Destroyer Gray. So anybody wondering, this is paint, not a wrap, and this is a Mopar Destroyer Gray. To try to help protect against sandblasting and doling, I actually reached out to a buddy of mine that owns SMP Window Tinting in Sacramento and had him come up and eat clear broad. Uh, the front fenders, the front fascia, and the rockers of this entire car to try to keep some of the sandblasting and dueling uh, down. I also coated this entire car with Shine Supply ceramic spray. So the suspension, the springs, the shocks, all the powder coat, everything on this car, the wheels is all covered in ceramic spray from Shine Supply. All right, no build is complete without a nice set of doors. And just like the cage, we reached out to TMW who always comes through for us and gave us these really awesome TMW doors. It replaces the entire door frame, keeps the OEM latch. You get a nice door bag with a knee pad on it. So, you know, for the guys that really like to ride hard, setting your knee up against the door sometimes to stabilize yourself is always a good thing. Doug from TMW got us these awesome suede heated seats with my logo on them. 
Um, yeah, and I did say heated, it is nice, up, especially up here in Oregon on these cool coastal nights. It's amazing to have heated seats uh, in your car. It just kind of keeps your butt warm, and obviously these things don't have a heater, so. Keeping your wife warm with heated seats is always a plus, I promise you. None of my builds are complete without a Rockford Fosgate stereo system, and this car is no different. We have an awesome stereo system in here. Connecting the theme from the outside to the inside, we reached out to Mike, uh, Mike Dobbs at Custom Sand Sports, who hooked us up with some uh, four works parts pre-release. So we have the four works center console that takes away the cubby in the front, ride command, surround, and also the dash accents are all real carbon fiber. And then I wanted to go the extra mile with my steering wheel. And everybody knows on these cars, once Polaris added buttons to the steering wheel, it was impossible. The aftermarket world stopped for steering wheels because of the controls that you have. Um, so I reached out to a couple of friends of mine. They referred me to a company called Stitch Girl Inc. on Instagram. Uh, she was awesome to work with and I sent her my OEM steering wheel and she wrapped it and it looks factory and it's amazing. Then we had the paint shop actually paint the plastic bezel on the steering wheel to match the paint on the outside. And then I didn't want the plastic center cap on the steering wheel. So what I did is I also reached out to Stitch Girl, sent her that as well. And she actually laser engraved the RZR logo back into the steering wheel, kind of giving it that OEM look, but also a, a touch of class and aftermarket. We also have a pumper system in here from uh, Rugged Radios that's pretty well hidden. Um, I love pumpers, but I also don't like the big hose you know, the actual unit st sticking out. So I kind of tucked it back here, ran my hoses back here. We also have the quick connect ports that Rugged Radios offers, their billet mounts. So ran all the wiring, tucked it nicely. So um, that really capped it off. And then we also have the Rugged Radios M1 system and the, the 696 intercom system in here for in-car communication. All right, now we're at the back of the car. So. No car is complete, especially in a two-seater without some storage. So what we got here is the Polaris Lock and Ride storage box, packed full of goodies. Everything's dry in there. And then we also have the Polaris Northstar 30-quart cooler with the OEM. So these are Polaris mounts that keep this cooler locked into this car, which is amazing. You get this big of an ice chest in a, a two-seat car. Uh, also on the back, we have the rigid chase bar. Everybody knows uh, how much I love the chase bar. It's packed full of features. It's got like 40 different features that you can change. So pretty much endlessly customizable to your liking and what you want your three triggers to do. Working our way down on the car, this is one of the first Evolution Power Sports XR Series dual tip exit exhausts. Um, this was specifically designed by Evolution Power Sports. They did a lot of testing. I think over 30 mufflers they threw in the garbage because they didn't like the sound, they didn't like the look, um, and this is what they ended up coming up with. And I also mated it to their header, their four into one header, which is a work of art. And it wraps on the inside of the frame. Um, everybody that's seen a Pro R sees the big exhaust, the, the dual ports come out and drop in and they tuck this one inside the frame. So looking at from the side of the car and the back of the car, it looks really, really sleek. It's all hand TIG welded and it looks beautiful. Uh, dropping down, ZRP always takes care of me on my billet. Um, HCR also uses ZRP billet. So whether you're buying HCR brand or ZRP brand, know that you're getting the same quality of billet parts that are the strongest in the industry. Um, and then we have the prototype rear trailing arms from HCR, we're doing a lot of testing out here, that you're getting two inches of extra ground clearance out of the rear of the car. And this is awesome for all you rock crawler guys that want to run a Pro R in the rocks. Everybody's been talking about how much the OEM trailing arms drag and hold you up on the rocks. Um, this is also a cam lock bolt delete kit on the tow link. So it will use two Himes instead of the OEM style cam lock. And you've probably seen some videos of um, the cam lock bolt not being tight enough and the wheels kind of work themselves out. So this takes care of that. So I reached out to Russ at Buggy Whips and asked him to make me some special whips. So I got the first eight inches pink and the rest of it white on four foot whips. So um, I gave my wife a, her choice of colors on uh, the lower base part and she loves pink. 
inside of the, the cockpit of the car, um, having necessities that you would never think about. 90, 99% of people probably don't think about these things, but this is a really cool uh, piece from Pro Armor. They're actually sun visors and they work significantly well, and especially on a dune car where you're out in the dunes and you're traveling north, south, east, west, constantly just kind of going with the flow of the dunes. You get those late evening rides and you're coming back headed west and you, the sun's in your eyes, you can just drop this down. When you don't want them, you tuck them away, you lose no visibility in the car, but they're always there just in case you need them. And I've actually uh, ran these on the last two of my cars and believe it or not, I've actually used these a lot more than I ever thought I would. And these are, yeah, these are just a tinted. You can get them in clear, you can get them in blackout. So if you want it to be blackout, uh, this is the tinted version. So running it low, you can still see through it. However, it's gonna block the sun on those, on those rides back. And then every one of TMW's cages comes factory with a bung for a rear view mirror. So my choice is always Axie alloys on my clamps, uh, my rear view mirrors, everything like that. So we got the nine inch uh, Axie alloy mirror. Um, this is another cool feature that a lot of people don't know about and it's crazy, but um, having a dome light is essential in these things and Dune Gear offers a touch activated dome light so you just walk up and you touch it and the light is on you touch it again the light turns off it's like the best thing ever to have if you're walk over to your car and you want to grab your keys or a drink out of it real quick you just walk over touch the light grab it touch it walk away you don't have to turn the key on or anything this is my helmet i've had this for a couple years now dan felix painted this for me it's a full rugged radios built and uh, I actually have a new helmet coming for this car that Dan's painting um, that should be done in a couple of weeks. So check it out at the Sandsport show. Um, I will have the helmet on display. Everybody should have one of these in all razors. All UTVs uh, is a trauma kit. You know, you never know when you're gonna pull up on somebody. This little bag right here could save somebody's lives and it's saved countless lives already. Desert Squadron offers a small packaged trauma kit that you can literally throw in a door bag. Um, you can pretty much put anywhere in the car, throw it in uh, your trunk area. What I like to do with mine, show you how easy it is to pull out. You literally just undo it. This is it. You can take this anywhere you want to go. You can take this hiking with you. It doesn't have to stay in your razor. So I just riveted the back panel to the back of uh, the back of the firewall and it's on a Velcro and then it's got a safety strap on it. So yeah, and I want to thank John from Desert Squadron. I reached out to him and asked him for a neon green bag and he couldn't find me one, but he actually did one better. He got me a Destroyer Gray bag for it, which, so thank you very much. I wanted that like little touch of custom and he delivered on that. So, I mean, this matches the car really, really well. So thank you, John, I appreciate that. Thanks for watching. That is the walk around video on my 2022 Polaris Pro R Coupe. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope everybody has a fun, safe trip out here and every trip you go on, be safe out in the dunes and make sure you always watch over those blind corners. Thanks for watching.